It's the same shit. We don't do blame mission. That's the shoe boss one. But our bank benches. They help me think clearly. Like, why would you play with your life? <laughs> I feel like I'm fighting about purpose. I just keep replacing our purpose. <laughs> Everything cool, everything G, man. Cool little Tuesday, man. Middle of the week. Still got my cup, middle of the week. My name is Tyler Tree. I'm from Alabama, Mobile area, from Spanish Fort, though. I'm an artist, YouTuber. What else I do? I'm an artist and a YouTuber. I just graduated from college. So I do as you will with the information, bro. <laughs> Man, like, I really had wanted to do music earlier than when I started. I ain't, like, I probably was 19. When I, yeah, I was 19 when I started rapping, for real, for real. But I had wanted to do it, like, in high school. It was, I don't know. I listened to a song, and I remix it in my head. Every time I hear a new song, I remix it in my head. So it was like, okay, I could do something with this. And how I started, my first song was a remix. Then I just started doing my own shout out. I, I got I need some original. So boom, I just went from there. It wasn't no real like no music background with me for real, for real. Just like I just wanted to do it from a young age, I guess. That's how it was. Um, who inspired me to make music? I could, I don't know. I guess like, that's a great question. You mean like artist wise type shit? Oh, okay, cool. But like Gates was like a big person I listened to when I was like around that age of thinking of rapping. So I could say Gates, school of my favorite artists. I'm always say that. School don't get the flowers he deserves. That was one of my favorite artists though. Um. Rich the Kid was a big influence and I was skilled with the flip. That's some crazy, but you can kind of hear that shit on my music. I be, I be catching it and I be like, oh shit, I can tell I got my influence from these niggas now. Like, but yeah, that, that, that was my biggest influences, I think, to, to really do music type shit. I'm a, I'm a underrated, underrated rapper type of guy. The niggas gonna be getting their real flowers and shit. It's gonna sound bad, bro. Like, I don't know, sometimes it'll just hit me. But sometimes I I just get like kind of lit. I drink some or whatever. And then I just listen to a beat and I'll punch in from there. But sometimes it just hit me and I'll be driving or something. And I just start writing on my phone, like, okay, cool, boom, 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 boom. Go from there with it. Like, hey, can I eat in here? All right, cool. I know how to start eating. I'm tripping. <laughs> I used to when I was little. Definitely used to when I was little, man. But now I keep it quiet. You can I had to speak on some. I'll be saying for it in the shower. Got down. That freak ass question. Who, who made this shit, bro? <laughs> I wish I could collab with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just said my favorites already. So that was, you know what I'm saying, Gates and uh, Schooly. But I do wish I could like collab with like, probably like Jack Harlow or somebody. like Somebody on, some different, on a different vibe. I throw people off every time I see it, but I be like, I feel like it'll go crazy. So one day I'll probably collab with Jack Harlow, probably. Let me do that, like, be some different shit. I mean, they, I'm trying to get that different, that different uh, avenue.
My favorite song to perform is uh, C Red. It's the Pooh Shyster remix. C Red, I love that song. Like everybody like that song. I ain't gonna say everybody, but enjoy the motherfuckers that, that I perform around with that song. Like they be like, oh yeah. Yeah, tell me I thought perform like, okay, cool. What's that song? So I'll be like, all right. Did one that's good for performing. I got like songs I know like niggas will probably listen to, but they don't give a damn if I perform these songs. So I'll be like, I got songs for performing. I got songs for, you know what I'm saying? You listen to by yourself type shit or whatever you want type. So see ready to be that one though. <laughs> I'm gonna say my most useless talent. I'm mean, probably not giving a fuck. I don't be caring about it. Like, a lot of times I be like nonchalant as fuck. But I ain't gonna lie, is it, I don't know if that's a talent. Is that a talent, bro? It's not giving a fuck a talent, bro. I could say it's probably like not giving a fuck, bro. Cause like a lot of times when shit happen, I don't care. And it be like, boom. I taught myself to like, not think too highly of, of like certain shit. So like when bullshit happen, I just like, I don't be, like, I don't be caring, bro. Like, I ain't finna stress myself out about that shit, but I be straight. <laughs> that was a bullshit ass answer with it, bro. God damn. There's not no time, bro. Hey, wait, me in the comments, you sorry sack of shit, you just don't care. <laughs> The most trouble. I ain't never really, like, with the law and shit, I ain't never really get no trouble. The most trouble I got into probably was getting caught up with some hoes or some shit. But I ain't never got, like, to no real fucking trouble with it, like, mm. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a law, fool. I remember that shit, but I was younger before. I was probably, like, 13. When you get caught though, so I guess I don't know, but shit, fuck it, I'm tell the story anyway. My little, my little, uh, my little cousin, he he locked up right now anyway. But man, he had a little girlfriend with over, so he like, I'm finna go to her crib. I'm like, bet. I'm just with these niggas though, cause I didn't spent the night at that shit. We didn't walk to the crib. Her daddy pull up. We bought, that's how, I think that's how I really figured out I was a track star for real. We got the fuck on on his ass, cuz, oh God. That was really like the clothes out of really, like I ain't really getting in trouble a lot like as a kid and shit, bro. Like, my dad always taught me, don't get yourself in there, you can't get yourself out of it. So I was like, I stayed the fuck out of shit. <laughs> but yeah, you know, man, there was a lot of bullshit going on as, as a kid, bro, you know. Don't get yourself into nothing you can't get yourself out of. Watch out for snakes. That was just some country shit, but I took that shit a whole nother way. There'd be hella snakes in the woods. Um, all this shit my daddy told me. Uh, if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. If you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. That was one of the biggest pieces of advice that my daddy gave me that I stuck with. So. Any one of them three, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no first and last with them bitches, but hell yeah. I keep all them in the back of my head. The socks your head, didn't it? <laughs> <coughs> oh, the impact I feel like I can bring. I want to bring the real back, man. I, it's still real niggas out here, but I feel like niggas ain't being 100% true for like, they self. Like, I know sometimes I could be a boring ass nigga, but hell, shit. Life ain't always exciting as a motherfucker. So I'm gonna just get out of the real shit of what's going on. That's why I feel like I contribute to that shit. One message I can give to my fans. The tape on the way next month. February, EP dropping or a tape. I'm still trying to decide, y'all. But there's some shit on the way.
And another message I can get y'all. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Crazy, man. I don't know, cause I try to stay out of my analytics, even though that's a real important thing to, to watch. But in Florida, like, when I go to Tallinn, they, like, I don't know if it's my partner being down there and he pushed my shit so heavy or what the fuck it be, but they fuck with my shit down there, bit. I be like, okay, cool. But Florida was the state, I think, I could say. I only be in like three different states, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Back and forth through the, but, a good Florida was like the one that surprised me. Yeah, I think they probably fucking my shit heavier. If I went down there more, I'd probably have a way bigger fan base in Florida than in Georgia. That's a great question, man. If I wasn't rapping, what would I be doing right now? I'd be getting to a bag regardless, nigga. So I'd probably be YouTubing which I'm still doing right now. Hell, I just graduated from college, so shit. My, I, don't be, I don't be wanting to punch no clock, but hell, if I wanted to, I really could go do that shit. Um, shit, I could have moved back to the backwoods and found some money there. It's money everywhere, like, bro, you just got to find that shit for real, so. I'm going to get to a bag if I wasn't rapping, bro. Don't worry about how I do it, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Crazy man. Oh, um, I don't have no shows upcoming right now. By next week, though, I ain't gonna lie, it could be a different story. But at the moment, no, nah, I don't have any upcoming show. I was talking to Yoshi now. Might be rap snacks and shit. What flavor y'all think I should get on these bitches, bro? I'm gonna come out with a nasty ass flavor. Y'all gonna have to fuck with it. Y'all gotta give me the flavor for these rap snacks, bro. It ain't gonna be too much longer. And they add, and they still add niggas to these hoes. I ain't seen a new nigga on the bag lately, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's been the same nigga on the home. <laughs> All right, all my shit. Oh, I punched it in myself. But I ain't got no ghostwriter, no shit like that. Um, And majority of the shit I make, I be by myself. Niggas don't even know what I'm making until I drop it. I really had quit sending the shit to my niggas and shit. I had just started getting to a spot where I was like, all right, cool. Like, I just got to do this shit. And then they'll know about it after it's out. So ain't no, ain't no ghostwriter, it's just me. It's just me, you did. <clears throat> oh, I hope I can bring people into a brighter headspace or motivate them, or both at the same time. So like, either motivation or to make you happy. Cause when I have, when I made music, I just had fun with it. That's me, my whole thing. Music was my, it was almost like a therapy to me, so it's so like, I'm gonna make my music, it's a therapy, I'm gonna have fun doing it, and then fuck it, if some money come with it, in the end, some money come with it. That was my whole thing, though. There was never no money or into this shit, so I just have fun with it. Ooh. Good or bad? <laughs> okay, all right, but I'll say this. So my most my most memorable good moment, I'd say be the first time I performed. So it was like, I was scared as fuck. Like, I ain't know, because it was like, I ain't never got in front of a bunch of people and held the mic and just rap. Like, it's, it's wild, bro. Like, okay, cool. But it was fun though. I enjoyed the fuck out of myself doing that shit. Everybody fucking my shit in there. It was, it was a great, it was a great thing. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. The worst shit. God damn no. I had, I was performing at the strip club, man. And 
I told this shit on another interview, but it was like, okay, I'm performing at the strip club. When I go to the strip club, I just be waiting for them to call me to perform. So I really be chilling. One of the little strippers come up, they sit down by me. So I'm talking with them, I'm like, woo-woo, you know what I'm saying? Talking, talking, talking. Next thing happened, she was like, you want to dance? So I'm like, nah, I'm cool. I just came here, to, you know what I'm saying, perform, do my little shit. She was like, mm. All that shit, you know what I'm saying? I get your Instagram, whatever. She, she, she talking about she, I don't want to fuck with you in here. What make you think I want to fuck with you outside of here? Boy, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, ah, oh, nah, you just played the fuck out of me. Boy, I've been still on strip ever since, for on God. Like, you can't get close to me, bro. I don't Jesus cry. I don't care about you. <laughs> but it been some wild shit, too, man. I have been to shows where, you know what I'm saying, niggas, are, niggas are have a, um, niggas have asked me to perform. And they ain't had no mic and shit. But it's been some bullshit, man. It's been a long fucking road, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> it's been a long ass road, yo. I swear to God, gang. Okay? <laughs> some bullshit. But yeah, that was definitely one of the most memorable. I'm a, like, that was damn near a, a, a villain origin story, bro. What they be saying, that shit, bro? A canon event, cuz I swear to God. Uh, the story behind the stage name. So it's really a simple story. It ain't too much of a long story like that. The last piece I just sent y'all, I just told y'all. But um, hell, I was just trying to find an Instagram name that ain't nobody else have. I didn't want no underscores, no peers, none of that in my name. So, or no numbers. So I just went with uh, Taylor Tree. So the what I was looking for. Where it came from, though. And all honesty was, it was Meek Mill. Meek Mill name was Meek Millions at first. And I was like, I was reading up, like Meek Mill was my favorite rapper back then. So I'm reading up on Meek Mill. I'm like, oh, like his name was Meek Millions. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna be telling the trick then. And I put it in there, like, they started calling me that shit at school. And then it just it stuck. So I was like, fuck it. When I started rapping, boom, just kept the same name. Like, well, I'm gonna change my name now. Everybody know me for this, so. Cool, man. First off, shout out the uh, you know what I'm saying, Shea Bo and Sean Don. They're my two main producers right now, for real. But like producers that I wanna work with, I say. Mm. I ain't never really thought about that. I if I like your beat, I like your beat. That's how I really be feeling. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna say the Zaytovens and the goddamn Metro Boom and this shit. But like, Sky Storage makes some hard shit too. So maybe Sky Storage is one of them. Well, yeah, for sure. Hell, anybody. If you be hard, I fuck with it. I ain't picky on it, who I, who I work with. Man, I ain't gonna lie, it be funny, bro. Cause like, like I was saying, one of my main talents is not giving a fuck. So when that happens, bro, like, it can be constructive criticism or it can be you trying to be a troll. So it's like, okay, cool. If it's constructive criticism, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna build upon it. But if like, you just trying to be a troll, I'm gonna have fun with your ass, I'm God. Like, nigga know, like, I can say janking on here. Like, nigga, y'all nigga from Mobile, y'all know what janking is, that type shit. So, like, niggas start janking, bro. We can jank, bro. We can do that shit. That's how I start rapping down there. So it's like, nigga, we go anywhere with this shit. I don't be giving a damn. Like, criticism cool, though. It's fun. I enjoy that shit. <laughs> I feed off negativity. Crazy, man. It's gonna be the most gangster shit you ever. No, I'm just playing. But now it's gonna be some hard shit though. It's gonna be some hard shit though. It's gonna be some smooth shit. And then I'm gonna have some in between to goddamn co and sir type shit. If you know what that means. Don't ask me what co and sir mean, but I feel like that's a word that fit right there. I don't really know 
how else to explain it. But the shit going you gonna fuck with it. And if you don't fuck with it, you probably a fuck nigga. No, I'm just playing. If you don't fuck with it, you just don't fuck with it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Ain't too much hits left. I'm really finna drop, though. I've been saying I'm finna drop for like six months. I've been bullshitting. I think that shit, that shit lit for real. Cause it's like, there's a lot of niggas in America who lit in other countries. I was talking to my uh, my little cousin about that earlier. He was talking about like, bro, somebody playing my shit in Ukraine. I'm like, how the fuck they find your shit in Ukraine? But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you, nigga, eat, bro. So I think that shit lit, though, for real. I don't even know what the fuck nigga saying. I got some some shit, like in a different language I'm in my damn playlist. I don't, be, I don't know what the fuck these niggas saying. That shit hard, but shit. If it's hard, it's hard, nigga. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I fuck with it, though. <laughs> Bro, I don't when I'm feeling down, it's one of them Dolph songs. Uh, that young dog talking to my skill. That my fucking soul, bro. Like, if I feel like, boom, like I ain't doing shit right now, like, boom, I'm finna play that, that dog talking to my skill. That shit gonna get me back up. It gonna get you back up, cuz. Yeah, it gonna be ready to do everything under the sun, cuz. Whether it's fucking go punch a clock or shit, go goddamn punch a brick, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, be ready, Carl. I'm good. Oh, um, shit, sometimes. It just depends on what league it is. Not bad. But yeah, sometimes my league do have some hidden minutes, got down. It just depends on, um, it's not, like, I'll make you think sometimes, but a lot of times, I'm gonna just get it to you, boom, boom. I try to, I ain't gonna say dumb it down for niggas and shit, but I don't be trying to make niggas think too much, cause I already know, like, you make a nigga think too much, they quit listening, bro, so. It's all the marketing tech at the end of the day. All the marketing tech, man. Crazy, man. Mm. I can't really say I have, bro. Cause like, when I started this shit, oh, oh. My brother, man, my big brother been doing this shit for years. I'm tripping. Niggas gonna get on me like, boy, what the fuck? You forgot all about me? Yeah. I can say my big brother been a mentor, like a little bit. Like, he, like, he just, like, let me do my own thing. And then he'll critique it afterwards, type shit. Like, do this, this, and this. Different. But, like, I could definitely say he been a mentor. So it's like, okay, cool. Like, he got way more experience. Like, that nigga been doing that shit since probably before I was born, type of shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. But yeah, he'll give me a little mentorship. So I can say my big brother, Deuce. For sure. All right, cool. That's how we gonna do this. I ain't gonna be biased. You want this off of streams? You want this off of how I feel? Or you just want this off of, I don't know. All right, babe. Your own personal opinion. I'm gonna find the one. All right, bet. I'm not doing this on no bullshit. I'm not. I actually listen to old artists too before I start saying this, and niggas be like, "Oh, you just saying this because, oh, the world want him to say that." But I don't give a fuck what the nigga. I can say some bullshit artists, but I don't give a fuck what niggas say. Look, I say. I wouldn't put Jay Z in my top five, and I niggas, I know niggas finna be upset. I know niggas gonna be upset after this. Wait, wait, I'll put him in the top five. He's not gonna be number one though. I put, I'm gonna put Nas up there for sure, cause now I feel like Nas was harder than Jay Z. 
I do feel like Nas was harder than Jay Z. So Nas would be five. Uh, four. Hmm. See, I'm, this was shit. This was, was shit finna get tricky. I'll probably put. I put like Cole. I put Cole four, Kendrick three, and then I put. Oh, I might switch it. Hold up. I'm put Wayne three, Kendrick two. Damn it. Then Drake got to be one. I guess that'd be my top five. So Drake, Kendrick, Wayne, Cole, Nas. I don't think, like, I don't know. Niggas not fucking with them lyrically, bro. I don't know. And niggas finna come at me in the comments. You don't know what he talking about. Ain't no way. Man, I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Because it's too many fucking artists, bro. And I don't know. That, that my top five, though, right now, at the moment. Top five all the time. They be like, where, where the fuck is Pac at? A lot of niggas didn't know about Pac until after he died, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And I wasn't alive in the 90s, so. <laughs> I can't lie to you. I say. I don't know. Like, okay, the best year of hip hop, it'll probably be late 90s, early 2000s. Power off. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I don't know, you gotta just find. <laughs> you gotta find that point that that's good for you between them. Commercial success come with a lot of bullshit. Keeping your integrity is like the main thing that you wanna do. So it's like, it's not no, I don't know, it's, it's hard to keep both of them. So. It's different for everybody trying to find that balance. Everybody got different integrity. So keeping that balance is a hard ass thing to do. Beyond the entertainment, my purpose in the music industry, I just trying to say like, you know what I'm saying? I just want you to feel better if you listen to my shit. I don't want niggas like, I always tell niggas like, when I talk to my partners and shit, like, boom. Like, don't do no stupid shit. Like, everything that you mad about right now, it ain't gonna last forever. I always make sure, like, everything happen. Like, it's ups and downs in life. So, like, this shit be quick as a motherfucker. So, don't do no shit that you're gonna regret in five years. And some shit that you mad about right now, you probably not gonna give a fuck about in five years. So it's like, that'd be my thing with it. So I just want niggas to make positive choices. Don't be no stupid nigga out here. Go get you some money. <laughs> Go get you some money, nigga. Not dumb man. That's <laughs> <Crazy>, bad. <laughs> My first ever performance. So it didn't change a lot. I can say I've been trying to like, I'm not gonna say I've been trying to catch the wave, but I'm trying to make sure niggas are listening to my shit. Now I don't know I'm trying to cater to these niggas, but it's like, when music, you have to make shit, this shit move fast as a motherfucker. Shit change quick. It's a lot of shit going on, so it's like, all right, cool. You gonna have to change up a little bit. You can't stick with the same flow the whole fucking career. They gonna boom. You done. Ain't nobody gonna listen to you. So I can say I got. I changed my flows and shit. I didn't kind of change. Yeah, it really been just my flow though. I talk about the same, the same shit, damn near. So 
Religion, my flower. It's my flower. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, no, I am not a part of any community projects or charity donations. Um, nah, I'm not at the moment, no. I'd love to do that though, I ain't gonna lie. That'd be some cool, I could do that. But nah, I'm not a part of anything at the moment. I'd be moving so much. Like boom, boom, boom. Alabama, Georgia, Florida. Then I be transporting dollars. That's what I do on the side, y'all. I transport dollars. Boom, 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 state to state with that shit. I don't keep you forgetting, like, I ain't gonna say forgetting, but I don't be thinking about that shit. Like, for real, for real. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, bro. <laughs> forgetting, not thinking about it. Leave what it is. They're gonna cast me after this one. Damn. <laughs> I'm a country ass nigga. I'm from Alabama. I'm gonna go ahead and let it be known. Boom. I wanna do like, I wanna like mix some country shit in. I can't sing though, y'all. But country niggas really can't sing either. So it's like, I'm new country. RB, I done dabbled in that shit a little bit. And probably some blues. I don't know. I don't know about blues. Blues be like, it weird. I don't like talking about negative shit while I'm making music. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but country, I probably country damn near like the white people version of blues, goddamn. Shit. <laughs> you said one of the concert. Let me think for a second. I can't recall, but like after last like, fall, bro, like for like Instagram, like niggas would be like, like on on social media, where the funniest shit be happening, bro. I ain't no really shit happening in no concert. But the funniest shit be on social media, like, niggas make a post, like, tag a famous person to see if they respond. And they'll tag me. I'll be sitting there like, bro, no way you just tag me on this shit. Like, it's a million niggas out here who wait 10 times more famous than me, and you just tag me on this shit. That shit really be funny as fuck to me. Then I have niggas, like, this is one little nigga, man. I can't remember his name right now. That nigga called me on Instagram just to prove a point that his sister, that he knew a famous nigga. And that was the wildest shit to me. And I'm just like, it felt weird because it's like, why? Why? I don't know. Like, niggas be telling me I be being too humble, but at the same time, I be like, why ain't nobody, bro, on God? I be like, nigga, who the, why the fuck would you call me right now? Like, nigga called me on Instagram, man. But, you gonna probably think I'm lying and shit in the comments, but I don't really be caring. Like it's just like it just be it be strange to me, bro. I ain't gonna say it weird. It just be different. It be different to me, bro. <laughs> it be different to me, bro. I went to Spanish Fort High School in Spanish Fort. I went to Spanish Fort. I was in the Spanish Fort school system. My whole, like, what you call that shit when you, in like, grade school, middle school, high school, I was in, like, Spanish Fort. I was at Rockwell my, uh, my elementary years, went to Spanish Fort Middle, Spanish Fort High. I was in the same area. We didn't move. Same area. I stayed in the backwoods. Didn't move nowhere. I ain't moved nowhere until I got to um, college. I went to Mobile, went to the University of Mobile. Then I went to um, Fort Valley. Then after I graduated, I moved to Atlanta. Um, 
the name right now, which it may change, because I ain't gonna lie, be the name right now for the next album, it may change. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you this the name. But it's the same trilogy. TST. I think it was a smooth look. You know what I'm saying? The letters TST was like, all right, cool. I ain't never had no album that I could just say that quick. Oh um, my all my previous tapes and albums been like hard to I ain't gonna say it's hard to say, but it's like it ain't it's smooth as that. But TST, the same tree, it'll come out sometime in February. It could be the beginning, it could be the end. You just gotta stay tuned looking at it. Yeah, I was fine to DM. You know what I'm saying? You can hit me up. It's a bunch of DMs I gotta respond to. It's a couple of niggas want um features and shit. And I be saying I wanna work with niggas, and then niggas DM me. And I bullshit in the DMs. My bad, y'all. But I do respond to DMs. So it's a couple DMs I need to respond to about features. Um, but yeah, yeah, if it ain't business, though, I don't, I don't really be looking at that shit. And it's a lot of like spam pages, bro. I be like, bro, what the fuck is this shit, bro? Y'all ain't talking about anything. Like, whole bunch of spam pages, bro. They just want money. It's a money game, bro. It's a money game, bro. But I can't hate on these niggas. Get your money how you get your money, you feel me? So do what you need to do. Do as you will. Only guy I know is what's next, man. I don't know what's next. I have no idea what's next, man. I'm lost just like y'all. If I can't tell you what's going on next, that's a good reason for it. And by good reason, I mean I don't know. <laughs> if y'all don't know what's going on next, I probably don't even know what's going on next. So what's going on next is me working on this tape. This tape really is done. I just need to know what time is good to drop it. And I feel like February is the month to drop it. But I like to drop in May. I like to drop in May. Because May is my birthday month, and I know my birthday come, all you folk niggas gonna run to my fucking page because it's my birthday. So I'm gonna probably drop some sh more shit in May. It might just be a music video or something. I'm always dropping May though. May 20th, I'm always drop. But it's a tape coming, EP, album. I don't know which one, but it's gonna be in February. So, man, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, well, formerly known as Twitter, X, and TikTok at Taylor Tree. You feel me? YouTube, Taylor Tree. Crazy, man. Hey, man, it's Taylor Tree, and you here with Sticky TV, man.